It's my pleasure to introduce Michael Turner, a doctoral student at Bar Ilan University. Good afternoon, everyone. Hmm? As a young researcher, I'm excited to have the opportunity to share our preliminary, preliminary, preliminary findings on the impact of screeners reporters on the classification of adults as autistic or typically developing. First, I would like to take a moment and to, uh, to acknowledge and thank my research collaborators, my supervisor, Professor Ofer Golan, Sandra Isali Yaakov, and Professor Simon Baron Cohen for the valuable contribution to this work. Autism diagnosis in adults has increased in the past decade, adding to the strain on the limited professional diagnosis system. To address this challenge, screening tools for autism like the AQ or the SRS can help identify, pot identify potential cases and ease the burden on the diagnosis system. So why use screeners? The purpose of screening is to identi identi identify individuals who may have autism and to facilitate early detection and intervention. Scan for, uh, for autism can be conducted by non-professional agents, uh, such as teachers, parents, or other community members, and they can refer to a professional diagnosis. Uh, screening uh, for autism can be conducted uh, at different life stages, including early childhood, school, school age, adolescence, and adulthood. Screeners may help us gather data from multiple informants, tests such as the individual himself, his parent, his teachers, and other uh, healthcare professionals, and can provide us a more comprehensive understanding of the individual's uh, experiences and symptoms. Um, screener, many screeners for autism in ado adulthood rely heavily on self-reports, uh, which can result in, in, in an incomplete picture of the individual's symptoms and experiences. Parental report, even in adulthood, has, has been shown to be a better predictor of a diagnosis than self-report. And gender. Uh, so, while parent report can be valuable in the screening and diagnosis uh, process in adulthood, it is important to note that their potential value may differ for females compared to males. Research has shown that parents often struggle to recognize signs for, of autism in females and may therefore be less accurate in the reporting for females. So, we need to check it. So in this uh, study, uh, we're asking these following questions. What is the added value of parent report in addition to a self-report in predicting autism diagnosis in adults? And we hypothesize that using self and parent report uh, screeners will improve correct classification of individuals as autistic or typically developing. And does the value uh, of self and parent report differ in male, uh, males and females. And we hypothesize that a parent report will contribute more to code classifications of males uh, than that to that of uh, females. So to test uh, this hypothesis, uh, we're using uh, uh, the AQ and the RQ. Uh, the AQ, the autism spectrum quotient, developed by uh, Simon Baron Cohen in the United Kingdom uh, in 2001 and validated only recently in Israel uh, last year. Uh, it's a self-report with uh, uh, 50 items and uh, it assess uh, various uh, of uh, uh, social interaction, uh, question and uh, communication and repetitive behaviors uh, uh, questions. And uh, RQ, the Relatives Questionnaire, also uh, very uh, developed, very, very, uh, not now, in the past. Yes, yes, in 2005, uh, in United Kingdom. Uh, and it's a, a parent report on the availability of autistic traits uh, in childhood 
with uh, 31 items. And the AQ uh, checking the cor current state uh, of autistic traits. And uh, the RQ, uh, we're asking the parent about uh, history, developmental uh, gaps and difficulties in the developmental history. So they're asking different uh, uh, things and it's important. Uh, the RQ never checked in Israel, and the Israeli psychometric uh, properties of the RQ were examined also in this study. So now let's take a closer look to, uh, at the AQ and the RQ items. Uh, you can see here like uh, the first ones in the AQ. Uh, I enjoy uh, meeting new people. That's, we're asking the individual uh, himself, and his, he can score from one to four. And we can ask his parent, uh, are people important to him, to your child? So we're asking almost the same question, but from different, different perspectives. Not all the items in the AQ and the RQ uh, asking uh, the same area uh, or topics, but there are some uh, gap between uh, these two. Uh, let's see another one, like um, the last one. I tend to notice details that others do not. And we're asking the parent, does he appear to have an unusual memory for details? Okay. So the AQ, the RQ, and demographic data uh, of 116 clinically diagnosed autistic adults, uh, 30 uh, females, were retrieved from client records of two territory centers that provide diagnosis, diagnosis assessment services uh, for adults with autism in Israel. Uh, and 121 uh, typ typically developing adults, 23 uh, females, completed the AQ and their parents completed the RQ. Uh, and uh, the group were comparable on age and gender. So, in order to examine the predicted value of the AQ and the RQ for correctly classifying autistic and typ typ typically developing individuals, uh, we conduct a logistic regression using a stepwise method. Uh, the results of the logistic regression analysis, analysis showed that the AQ entered in step one and the RQ in step two. Uh, and they both, both uh, significant predictors of correctly classifying autistic and typically developing uh, individuals. Uh, you can see here that uh, the Correct classification rate of the both uh, screeners are also very good. Uh, 95% uh, 95 uh, of the sample can be classified uh, using these uh, two tools. Uh, that's for the entire sample. Thank you. Uh, to examine uh, the potential uh, gender differences in the predictive value of the AQ and the RQ, a separate an analysis uh, was conducted for males and females. Uh, the results uh, of the analysis for males showed a different pattern uh, of predictors uh, compared to the entire samples. You can see that the AQ, uh, the RQ, the parent report uh, entered in step one. In the entire sample, the AQ, the self-report uh, entered in step one. But here, uh, the RQ, the parent report uh, entered in step one. Uh, and the AQ, the self-report, entered only in step uh, two. Everything uh, was uh, significant, and the predictive uh, and the correct classification rate was very similar to the entire sample. Again, 95%. But the interesting uh, thing is that the RQ, the parent report, entered uh, first. For females, the log logistic regression model did not show any significant predictors. Although the AQ was entered into the model, uh, it was not significant. Uh, however, the correct classification rate remained high, uh, 96%. Uh, very uh, similar to the rates of the uh, females and uh, the entire samples. And it is possible that the lack of significant predictors here uh, for females is due to the relatively small sample size. And further research with, with larger sample is needed to better understand the effectiveness of AQ and RQ for uh, females. Now, uh, a brief examination uh, of the cutoff 
is the indicator for, uh, for the RQ, so you can see here a uh, rock uh, curve. Uh, for females and for males, yes, you can see it. And uh, so you can see uh, the lines, uh, the blue one uh, is the, is the uh, AQ. And for, fe for females, you can see uh, the blue one uh, above the green one, which means that the, uh, RQ, uh, the AQ is better for females, self-report. It's better uh, for predicting the status of the participant. And for males, the opposite picture, uh, the green one, uh, the self-report are above the uh, blue one. Uh, the self-report is better uh, than the parent report uh, for... Uh, uh, the parent report is better than the self-report for males. You can see here, you can see here the tables, but uh, the numbers are very high. Uh, but uh, for females, there is slightly a trend. Uh, for the AQ, uh, a, good, a better number uh, of area under the curve for females. And the RQ, the parent report, uh, are better in predicting uh, diagnosis and also in uh, uh, classifying the participants uh, for males. So the RQ, uh, the RQ are uh, a little bit better for males, and the AQ, the self-report, uh, for females. Uh, the appropriate uh, RQ cutoff. So, uh, for females, the appropriate RQ uh, cutoff for females is 8, 8, 8, with sensitivity of 0.87 and specificity of 0.91. And uh, for males, uh, 11 with sensitivity of 0.83 and specificity of 0.95. Uh, this gap also, we find it in the parent report questionnaire in Israel for uh, children. So it's very interesting to find it also for adults. Uh, and it's, it means that uh, females need less autistic traits to be classi classified uh, in the autistic so, for conclusions, combining self and parent reports improves uh, the correct classification of autism in, uh, in adults, and the added value of parent report to that of self report is noticeable for males, whereas for females, more research is needed. Limitation relatively small sample, specifically for females or females. AQ and RQ are both, uh, are not DSM-5 based tools. So, uh, the, so not all the items represent uh, the current autism diagnosis and the diagnosis are more than what we can find in this tool. And the effect of camouflaging uh, and code classification should be examined, especially uh, for females. Thank you very much. understand you in Hebrew, sorry.
problem here is we talk about um, who could give the diagnosis. It is that people that can, you know, I got the diagnosis from this person or did you do the diagnosis? Because that's exactly what you show here, um, not to the same here, in, in previous graph, um, is, is, is something uh, very common and very highly seen that um, uh, women or, or, or females um, go to a uh, doctor and ask for diagnosis and they are being told, um, and, uh, I hurt. Okay, it's really things that were told to people like that. Now you can't be honest if you are married. Now you can't be honest if you have kids. Now you can't be married if you have a PhD. Um, now you can't be honest if you speak. Um, and, and what we show here is because when we take the RQ, it's what other people see. And the AQ is what we feel. Okay. Do you have a specific question that we yes. <laughs> um, Wait, can you yeah, 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 yeah. let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, No. Okay. Wait. So maybe I suggest also because, uh, I'll, I'll hold him here. I'm not sure he doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Uh, so he yeah. Only because now, you know, Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Thank you.